Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So today in Django Rust Framework, I want to change my code a little bit. Um, as you can see, in my uh, task model list, I have the URLs and I also have the foreign key to the user. And the user is specified by the primary key or its ID. And then for the tasks in its URLs, I also have the um, the primary key that's associated with it in the displayed URL. So sometimes in um, real life business model or whatever, you would want to change this primary key out because a lot of the times you don't want your primary key displayed as the as a tag for the URL. That's why a lot of the times there are slug fields used in place. So let's try to change this real quick. Um, so over here I have the task model and it's showing a task list and you get the deal. And then I also have the users list and the URL also returns the user's primary key, um, the ID, the username, and everything like that. Okay. So the goal of this video is to, number one, in the URL, I want to return the uh, user's username as the um, as a keyword argument instead of the ID. And, in the, and over here, where it has the ID, I'm just going to get rid of it just so that the ID, so just so that the IDs are not displayed at all and then the tasks instead of the tasks primary key I'm going to switch it up to something different like a UUID or a slug field so let's go ahead and do that and also vice versa in the tasks in the URL I want to return a slug field or a UUID for um, the keyword arguments and then for the owner I want to return the owners or the users username rather than the ID slash primary key okay so let's get started Now, in order for me to modify these, the thing that I will have to update is the lookup field in my serializers and view sets. And um, just reading off of the documentation, it says that the lookup field is the model field that should be used for performing object lookup of individual model instances. And it defaults to PK, which is primary key, and then as you can see here, the one, uh, the user's one, the two, three, these are all the primary keys. So it defaults to that. And it also says, note that when you're using hyperlinked APIs, which we are, I need to ensure that the both views and the serializer sets, um, the views and the serializer classes, they both set the lookup fields. So I need to uh, modify these in those in those two rather than just doing it in the view or just a serializer and then I don't need to worry about the lookup URL keyword argument because it says that um, if it is unset it defaults to using the same value as the lookup field so just by doing this we're also modifying the lookup URL keyword argument so we won't need to worry about that okay so let's go to the users um, serializer and I'm just going to add the lookup field and the extra keyword arguments that I've added in the previous video and if you haven't seen that video I will try to add a link to that in the video if not in the description okay so I will say lookup field equals um, for the user, I'm just going to do username and for the fields, I'm actually going to just take out the ID because I don't want the ID being displayed anymore. 
and so in the URL it's going to show the instead of the primary key it'll show the username because I added it in the user field so let's see if that changed anything or if I'm just gonna get an error right off the bat which I am because I didn't add it to the view set lookup field uh, it's going to be username okay let's try okay so there we go now I have the URL and then I have the user slash PC users 2 users 3 and then I have the user's name and the ID is no longer displayed so that's good if I go to the tasks I will still need to fix that because they're a little uh, coupled together so let's change that real quick go to the tasks okay, I'll just exit this for now go to the serializers and let's see here mm -hmm. go to the URL now for the task serializer I think I am going to need a slug field or a UUID for this so let's back up real quick and go to my user serializer now if I were to go to my users this still works fine but let's see could not resolve the view name for user slash user detail Okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to add a slug field to my task model. And let's see. Okay, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that. So slug equals models dot slug field. And let's see. I'll make the I'll make it unique equals true so that there's no future conflicting um, error causing problem down the road. And now, because I want the slug field to be pre-populated every time the model is made, I will have to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Do a um, super save so define save and for this one I'm gonna have to go to the documentation let's see because I am going to be slugifying this I am going to go to the documentation let's try from Django dot utils dot text import slugify okay and then I'm just gonna google slug field and then go down what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the save method which is self arguments keyword arguments and then down return super dot wait I don't do I need to do super dot save I feel like that's the old way of doing it right Yeah, I feel like this is a old way of saving it. So what I'm gonna do is go to um, Django 
model save override mm -hmm. let's see if I have anything here okay so it looks like this is fine I'm gonna go back to the tutorial website that I just found and say if if I have no slug then I'm going to turn the slug into slug slugify a uh, description self that description so if I don't have a slug field then my slug field will be the slug of the description okay so that means if I have something like make some tea if this is my description then my slug field will be make some tea that'll be my slug And because I think um, I just did this, um, I just added a, a method and didn't modify any of the fields, I don't think I have to migrate any changes. Okay, so now that we have that slug field, oh wait, just kidding. What am I saying? I did uh, add a field. <laughs> the slug field. So we need to migrate that. So um, python manage.py make migrations. And then it says uh, pre-populate all of the existing models with a default. And I will make it um, slug. Oh wait. Um, and do exit for now. And um uh, here python manage.py run server and for the sake of the time okay mm. I will just do no equals true blank equals true so that the um, database accepts blank data as valid. Make migrations. Python manage.py migrate. Okay. Now when I do the serializer, I need to add the slug, the description, the owner, and now when I do the lookup field, this will be the slug. Same for this one, lookup field equals, uh, actually I don't think we need the lookup field, but if the error comes out later, asking for it to be the username, we'll change it then. But over here, lookup field equals slug, Now let's see what kind of errors we get. Mm -hmm. Tax, okay, we're getting all sorts of mumbo jumbo. Let's see. Let's see if we can go into the admin and see if we can add the tasks some slug. So I'm just gonna save so that the save method that we just made overrides them and gives them a slug field, okay? Yeah, there we go. And then do we still get the errors? Yes, we do. Okay, let's start debugging this whole enchilada now. Mm -hmm. So it's trying to look up this, 
but it has an improperly configured lookup field. Let's see what we're doing wrong. <clears throat> so we have the lookup field over here. If we add the lookup field for the owner, which is the owner, do we still get user object has no attribute owner? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we did slug and over here, lookup field equals username maybe? Because it says user has no object or has no attribute owner. That means it's looking for the user and its username. So there we go. Now, if you look at the URL for the users, it has the user's username as the URL keyword argument. It's showing the user's username. And then in the tasks, it's showing the slug field as the arguments rather than the primary. If I go over here, same thing, except it's reversed. And it's working just fine. So let's just recap what we did. Um, we set up the lookup field in the in our serializer as well as the view sets. And note that the lookup has to be in every single one that you'd want a hyperlink with. So we had to add this to the owner because it's a hyperlink. And then for the serializers here, same thing. The tasks that we have, they're all hyperlinks too. So we have to make sure that the lookup field is there as well. And so all you guys need to do is make sure that you have something else to replace the primary key with and change the serializers and the view sets and everything's good to go. Okay, so that'll do for this coding session. Thanks for watching.